Hello, I'm Mazar, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps for creating an unencrypted Amazon Elastic Block Store volume from an EBS root volume that is encrypted by the default customer master key or CMK or with a custom CMK. Let's get started. Before proceeding, create a backup as a precautionary measure by either creating a snapshot of the original encrypted root volume or creating an AMI of the original instance with the encrypted volume. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. Stop the instance with the encrypted root volume using either the AWS command line interface or the AWS Management Console. In the description tab under root device, choose the root volume and then choose the EBS ID. Note your root device's name. Choose actions, detach volume, and then choose yes, detach. Note the availability zone. Launch a rescue instance with a similar OS and in the same availability zone as the original instance. You can use the EC2 console or the AWS CLI command below to get the availability zone. After the rescue instance launches, choose volumes from the navigation pane and then select the detached encrypted root volume. Choose actions, attach volume. Choose the rescue instance ID and then attach the encrypted volume as slash dev slash xvdf or slash dev slash sdf. Create a new unencrypted volume of the same configuration as the original volume and in the same availability zone. Attach the new unencrypted volume to the rescue instance as slash dev slash xvdg or slash dev slash sdg. Connect to the rescue instance and then confirm the presence of the root device and both attached volumes using lsblk. As root, dd the data from the original encrypted volume. Input file is slash dev slash xvdf to the unencrypted new volume. Output file is slash dev slash xvdg. Wait for the process to complete. Larger volumes take more time than smaller volumes and slower instances take more time than faster instances. Detach the new unencrypted volume slash dev slash xvdg from the rescue instance and then attach it to the original instance as slash dev slash xvda or slash dev slash sda. To be sure the root volume is now unencrypted, select the original instance in the Amazon EC2 console and then view the volume's properties. You might need to run the partprot command as root on the instance to register the partition changes to the kernel. A reboot or a stop start will accomplish the task as well. Repeat the process for any other encrypted volumes on the original instance to create cloned volumes that are unencrypted. Terminate your rescue instance after you confirm that the newly created unencrypted volumes are working properly. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Mm -hmm.